Good day, my fellow adventurers. Welcome back to the channel for part three of the Southern Ohio Adventure Loop. On the last episode, we ended in the Pike State Forest APV riding area and we're headed further south down to Chalet Navale. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Side of Nace Corners, we got some nice gravel roads, some beautiful scenery. <sighs> Coming up on Potato Knob. Oh wow, <laughs> this looks different than the last time I was here. Hmm, interesting. Gorgeous. Yep. I just missed Douglas Road. Like I said, <laughs> I've never ran this continuous route, so. I'm making lots of turnarounds. At least I caught it now instead of <laughs> yeah, a couple miles down the road. Yeah, this is the one you want. Yeah. I remember this. a new driveway since I've been down here last time. It's like I'm not the only one trying to get away from it all. A little out route and we are back on Conaway. Little city of Locust Grove. Dairy bar is still open. Gas for a dollar oh six. Can't beat that. I'll take it. Coming up on one of the highlights of the trip, if you're a hiker, up here at uh, Chalet Navale, or if you're from Southern Ohio, Chalet Navale. <laughs> I don't know which way is correct, and they probably are both incorrect. But right here, this little rock formation has got some pretty cool little cave-like overhangs. Little small arches, little hole in the wall, pretty neat. This little cliff all around through here. There's about five miles of hiking down here. Another uh, Ark of Appalachia project. It's said to be the two cleanest streams in the county, if not even farther out. So if you're filtering water for your camp, uh, this would be the place to get it. So yeah, let's have a look around. I 
working down here at this chalet is uh, pretty tame. I think it's known mostly for cool flowers. Hope you enjoyed the little clip and we are back on the soul. Headed towards the little north side of Peebles and then uh, heading over to Jaybird Road off 73. And then Beaver Pond is going to be where I really usually end up starting the route. And I like to run the southern portion more in the northern because it's farther away and that's one thing we adventure riders tend to do is try to get farther away and find new things because that's what it's all about <laughs> <laughs> 